All right, welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I just got the Italia DLC. I got that installed on here, so I figured might as well start a new company and uh, check it out. So I've headquartered myself where I always do, which is in the middle of Luxembourg. And uh, for some reason this time, this is actually the first time that the very first mission that it gives me, or I don't know what you call them, uh, ice deliveries, uh, it's actually taking me out of Luxembourg. Usually I go from this place to this place here, but um, in this case I'll get to go uh, to Metz, which is in France. Anyway, um, I do want to unlock these, uh, as many of these as I can, specifically for the recruitment. And um, there we go. Okay. Anyway, um, that way when we get the loans, because that is how I'm going to plan on this, to get as many loans as possible as quickly as possible, then I will uh, be able to get higher drivers and get all that going much, much faster. So as you can tell, I have turned off the in-game music. Um, it's somewhat annoying to listen to. And uh, I also don't know, uh, YouTube, when they do copyrights, a lot of it is more with music than with gameplay. I don't know that that's an issue here with your Truck Simulator 2. Um, I'm assuming that the developer, uh, which I think is SCS, is, uh, they've allowed it. Uh, there's a lot of videos out on YouTube. But um, just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and used some of my own music that I have come up with. Because um, I know I'm not going to throw a copyright strike against myself on that. So. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll start this now that I'm at this place. Um, brand new company, just called Give Me Some Money. That, that is a Spinal Tap reference. And we're going to be calling Cargo of Ketchup. So, let's actually drive. So, let's see. It's actually 15 tons of ketchup. Anyway, let's go ahead and get, get this show on the road. And I'll try and obey as many laws as I can in terms of what uh, a real driver would have to obey. I uh, am not a real driver of trucks though, so I may miss these. If the game doesn't kind of like me on it, then uh, so be it. down and uh, unlock to be a car dealership of some type and also the recruitment. Since there's two question marks in Luxembourg, I've been playing American Truck Simulator for the last few months and uh, got all the achievements in that game. So it is slightly different than Euro Truck Simulator. There's not huge differences, but there are sufficient that it's taking a bit to get reused to this game. That's okay, I got it set the way I want, and now we should be going well. Ah, one thing I don't like is how they have such short yellow lights in Euro Truck Simulator. It's a lot longer in American Truck Simulator, so yellow lights are not as bad. Um, but in Euro Truck Simulator, it really punishes you with running red lights. I'm actually surprised that it didn't consider me it's too far into the intersection on that one. And here's one area that I am clueless on, and that is how roundabouts really work. <laughs> I just kind of uh, muscle my way through and go and see what happens. Um, but I don't know the legality of I'm going to stay in this left lane because we will be turning up there when we get to the main road. Of course, that guy's blocking my view of the stoplight, so I'll just go in the car in front of me. Go. Alright, so. What's my plan for this series? That's a good question I just asked myself. <laughs> um, main thing is just to go ahead and get my company off the ground and then head on over to Italy and uh, learn about the new DLC. 
I also have about half of the achievements in Euro Truck Simulator I'm not unlocked. And so unlocking the achievements will be good. They, there's only one that I can think of off the top of my head that's going to be really difficult to sell that. That's to 100% the map. It's going to be a little more difficult because now Italy is involved too. But uh, that's what this game is for, doing those challenges. So my first goal is to get my truck. I'll do that with the loan. So when I get the 100,000 euro loan, I'll be able to buy the truck. And then uh, after that, I'll need to raise enough money to buy a garage. And then I'm going to make five large garages. And by about the time that I get the fifth one going, I should be making enough money that I can then free roam without having to worry about too much loss of income. In fact, I think by the time I get the five garages going, I will be making more money than I know what to do with. That's typically what ends up happening. And then uh, I'll just focus on getting all the achievements. I did try earlier to bring up and record the, the uh, overlay for Steam, and it doesn't seem to be working. I've been tweaking my recording software, trying to get this to work, and having some issues with it. So hopefully this recording, uh, at least the gameplay will work. We'll see shortly. The last time I thought I had it done, but the audio was slightly out of sync, and the slightness of the out of sync got worse the farther into the game we got. So that was kind of annoying. I am going to be checking that on this one. I'm actually using a different recorder. Uh, different recording software this time around to hopefully fix that issue. We'll, we'll just see. So basically this is about the fifth time that I've run from Luxembourg to the Nets. So I have that save file. Um, I'm just kind of, at this point, I'm just going to hope it works. Because I'm sick of just stopping at Mets and checking. So I'm actually going to go further than Mets. I'm going to take whatever the next job is as well. And if I have to re-record everything, it's still probably only going to be about 30 minutes at this point in the game. It'll be two different trips. Anyway, after that second trip, I'm hoping that I will then have my email telling me that I can get the 100,000 euro loan so I can buy my truck. If all that happens in this video, then that would be cool. If it doesn't, then um, it'll happen by the next video for sure. Alright, the uh, next is coming up. And with the four names, um, I don't know any foreign languages except uh, a little bit of Spanish. I wouldn't say I'm fluent by any means. Um, so I'm going to be butchering these names. I'm probably going to mispronounce them. Especially French names, which apparently French you speak by ignoring half the letters that you see. It's like all this mess, it's probably pronounced like meh. But it's definitely not the New York mess up for sure. Anyway, let's get this going. Bring it to mess. One of the other things I will be doing is when parking, I'm going to be taking whatever the most difficult parking is to maximize my XP. There we go, red light simulator right now. All the times that I've recorded this, I've never been in this red light. It's always changed. So now we got a car coming. That, that has been, you know, cars and stuff are random, but. I don't know the timing on this, if it's connected to that first light or how to do it. It might just be a scripted thing that it will always need to stop. Alright, so here we go, our end of our first delivery.
I am using the keyboard on here. I'd rather have one of the uh, steering wheel controllers, but since I don't have one, I just uh, use what I do have. I'm getting better at this. It's still not perfect. I can even use it. I'm getting better at backing up. before it actually uh, does anything. So I get to overcorrect a lot. Try this again. So I'm already turning back the other way to try to correct that. Let's see if this is good enough. Keep it within the white lines. There we go. I got it this time. Alright, first load is delivered. And since buying my um, my truck when I buy that, I'm going to have to go back to Luxembourg no matter what. It doesn't really matter which jobs I pick now. Uh, so I'll do whatever gives me the most. So the best is um, sorting my price for distance, and thankfully it saved that. So let's go from Mets to Reims, Reims, not sure I do nothing. Again, it's French, so probably do it. All right. Start this. Let's get a tractor real quick. I'm not going to crash immediately on that. It's only going 132 kilometers anyway, so I'm going to change my input page to, that's probably, yep, that's the one that shows me my cruise control speed, which for me is the only one that really matters on here. Uh, these short trips, you're going to have plenty of gas. I did pick Volvo for my uh, starting truck. I like the Volvos the most just because they have the most horsepower. At least in the base game, I don't think anything has changed with the Italia DLC. But, uh, we'll see. All the trucks are more than adequate for most things. It's going to be more when it's up to where we're hauling heavy cargo that it will actually make a difference. Barrier at the end. And since this isn't France, one thing that I do like about it is the roads are, uh, they do allow you to do 90, so you can do the max. The downside is there are a lot of uh, toll booths through here, like you can see one coming up right now. That's going to drop down to 70. Yep, so it looks like this does not have a retarder on, so I have to manually break. The retarder is my favorite invention. To help keep me from speaking. All right, here we go. So right at 100 kilometers. Off, I'll have. Let's see what I'm going to have. This is my 
done, so just over five and a half. I think the Volvos start <clears throat> right around a hundred euros. Have enough for some gas and stuff if I need it, but I should be able to get in more trips before I have to do any expenses. The nice thing about this game is it, it's really difficult to actually, um, as long as you can drive without crashing, uh, it's really difficult to actually get into financial trouble. I mean, if you go out of your way to do it, yes, you can, uh, you can definitely make it happen, but if you're just playing the game uh, like normal, as long as you can drive without crashing on every route, um, or at least not doing major crashes, then uh, it's uh, pretty much next to impossible to actually go bankrupt and not have enough money to repair or get gas or anything like that. In fact, I don't even know if there is a lose state in here. Like, if you go, I don't know if you can actually go bankrupt. It could be that you just go in the negative and keep on going. I mean, obviously, they're not going to let you buy new garages and things like that if you're in the negative, but. I don't think you actually need to use the game. But since I don't know for sure, um, part of that is because I've never been in the situation where it might have happened. But again, it's, it's really difficult not to make money if you're, uh, as long as you're not crashing and everything. I really like this game because on stretches like this, you can just kind of zone out. It gives you just enough to uh, not have nothing to do, but not too much so that you actually get stressed out. If you drive like a maniac, you can definitely uh, experience road rage in here. But typically, if you're just doing according to the rules of the road, then uh, you can just kind of zone out. And, have a lot of fun, it's really relaxing. I especially enjoy this after stressful weeks at work. And turn. All right, I'll let this guy in front. So just like in real life, if you uh, follow the rules of the road, it tends to be a fairly relaxing thing. Really not too, too bad of a thing. Although, the AI in here has at times jumped up and gotten me. I remember once coming around a blind corner and there was a car trying to pass and uh, did a full head-on collision. But that's uh, relatively rare. Normally, it's uh, you'll run into too little traffic rather than too much. Anyway, let's get this final stretch done. Drop this off. See if I get my loan yet. If I do, then I'll go ahead and buy my truck. If not, um, I'm still gotta get end for the evening because it's getting late, and I have to check and see whether this actually is recording correctly. If it is, if it's not, you'll never hear me say that. Fingers crossed that you actually can hear me say that. Alright, so here we go. What we have? We got a 90. We got a flip of each turn and back it straight in there. I don't really think that's worth the 90. But I'm not complaining because I'll take the experience for it right now.
chop that off. Now the moment of truth. Let's see if I got my bone yet. First thing, of course, leveling up. Um, I'm going to do all the long distances first. Probably then the ADR. And maybe just do these in sequence. Uh, eco driving is going to be the least important thing. So. Definitely this is going first, whether I do these all balanced, like one at a time. I'm probably going to do all the ADR first though. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's see what the email is. Let's see if I get my, yep, I get my money. Go to the bank. Give me the loan. Alright, now. Have my little truck. I'm surprised it's have the option where I can purchase it here. Wonder if I gotta do something here. Wonder if I have to wait for the other email that says that there's people looking for trucks. Hmm. Well in that case. Let's see what we got here. I actually want absolute smaller. Shortest route. I've done this backwards. Let's see here. 31. Oh, that was correct. 131 kilometers. This would be the shortest. Anyway, um, well, I'll come back and check that later. But for now, let me just go ahead and save the game. Let me save two. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.